Welcome to Two Woke Boys, episode 201. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke, woke boys. boys. Come on, man. There you go. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to find a... I don't, have a, I don't think I have a gay one. Oh. Because it's Pride Month, and it's time to celebrate. Even if you're straight, you celebrate it, okay? If you Do, are a straight white woman, yeah. straight white woman, Pride Month is like the bat signal for you. Mm. Yeah. And it's yeah, time for why, you like, to come out, and you go out there to a Pride Parade. You post hard. pictures of yourself and you make Pride Month about you. That's who Pride Month is about. It's not about gay people. It's not about LGBTQ. No. Yeah. It's about straight white women making themselves look like heroes. Okay? Yeah. And you are a hero if you are a straight white you, woman and went to a Pride Parade. As a woman, you love gay stuff, and you love all the colors of the rainbow, so you have to just go out to any gay thing and make it like bo boss the gay people around yeah like go to a gay party let them like the, see that they're having fun and then go in there and then like tell a story that's like 45 minutes too long yeah you know and then be like that was we're having fun my way now and you have to preface it by being like hey i'm not gay but i love you guys. i love you guys i support you guys yeah but and, and that's what we do, or, you know, or when you, we're out there at Pride. Yeah, we're we, like, we're not gay. No. Let's just get that out of the way. We're not gay. Yeah. We've like, as Macklemore said, you know, I'm I've, not gay, I've, but... I've been getting pussy since oh, the, man, since just... the pre-K, ever yeah. since the third grade. Yeah. He said that? Well, <laughs> not literally, but yeah. in the song it where was, he's like, was, he's ever like, since Mom, the third grade, I thought I was yeah, gay. Yeah, ever since the third grade, I thought that I was gay. And then, and then his mom's like, "No, you've loved girls since before pre-K." Nice. And he's what like, "What a banger!" Dude. He's Where like, is "Now that, that I, oh, he's he's got the great Palestine song now. Oh, okay. He's back he's with back. more oh, social shit. issues." He was like, kind of like the first Jake Novak. Yeah, he kind of was. Really, he really kind of <laughs> did it Jake Novak style. Yeah, he just didn't go as hard. Right. Jake Novak is like Eminem. Uh -huh. Of like, be a good person rap. <laughs> You know, <laughs> right. like the Eminem of I'm a good guy. I'm yeah. really nice. I'm not a rapist, despite I, what any woman might say about yeah, me. I yeah, I listen to the government. Yeah. I follow the rules. Mm -hmm. You should follow the rules too. Yeah. obey government propaganda. Yeah, rapper. Yeah, he's that, the, no. The, he's probably the goat. goated in yeah. that category 100%. for sure. Yeah, yeah. And it's too bad he stopped making music, but. Yeah, he really dropped, like, he he would have dropped, like, a fire album that was, like, you know, it's called, like, Social Distancing or something like that, because that was, like, the era it came out well, of. Well, he had, a, yeah, he had his first, like, big song was Stay the Fuck at Home. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like right. March 2020, like, right after, like, yeah. the government comes out and says that, he's like, yep, it's time for me to do free, make a free advertisement. Mm-hmm. For the government, he would yeah. kill it with a pro-Palestine video right now. Oh yeah, yeah, he would, we, he'd destroy. But he's Jewish though, right? He is, but you know, he's probably. <laughs> Do you think he he's he's going hard for Israel, right? Oh just, no, you don't think so? Novak, no, he's like. You as, think he's Palestinian? Oh, hundred percent. You think he's team TP team team oh, Palestine? Hundred percent, yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, a lot of the a lot of the protesters like were blocking highways and stuff, and like. A lot of them are Jewish, and yeah, and and yeah, just because you're Jewish doesn't mean you're for Israel, uh, right? That's, that's why, sure. right? Yeah, yeah, and but that you know, the super left ones are the ones protesting for yeah. Palestine, and you know, I think we know where Jake where is, Novak yeah. stands, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the king, yeah, yeah, <laughs> he yeah. stands, he stands on the side of what can get me the most views and pats on the back, yeah, and like with the people he's trying to impress. Stay the fuck at home. Bad gun. Mm -hmm. he's, there's he's like trying, a, there's, there's a uh, there's like a uh, pie chart of like public opinion. The second it crosses fifty percent, he's all in on that. Yeah, whatever it is, kind of yeah. like like Obama was for like gay marriage. You know, right? Like his 
was it was like his first term where he's like, yeah, fuck that shit. I ain't with that gay shit. Right. Then the next time. And then like, hey, as soon as the polls reach 51, yeah. 49. He's like, what are we doing? Come yeah. on. I'll sing Al Green to my boys. Right. You know, we're all gay. It's mm -hmm. cool. You know, Hill Queen also. Yeah. Yeah. She, so. Yeah. She was like that, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of what it is. Yeah. You, you got that pie chart. That's constantly you're just hitting refresh on your. OK, like, OK, it's still 49 percent. Fuck that. Uh, uh, Not here. Mm -hmm. The second it crosses, that's when you're like, you know, I've loved that my entire life. Yeah. And any video that you ever see of me like shitting on it. That's Don't look deep, into that. Deep fake. Yeah. 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 So we love Jake Novak. We miss him. Uh, he's got a lot to talk put, about. Yeah, put out more content, bro. Yeah. Drop, but yeah. A, drop a new banger. Yeah. Make so, the theme song for our podcast. Mm -hmm. he should. Although we, I mean, we, got, I we already how, got a bang. Yeah, I don't see <laughs> like, how, how we top the top? one we've got. How are you yeah. going to top? Do you think that guy knows that he has the no theme clue. song of our podcast? No, I yeah. hope not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he would probably. Yeah, he might be mad about send it. Send a cease and desist. Yeah. yeah. He might be very upset. Yeah. So yeah. we're just not going to tell him. But, mm -hmm. but yes, it is pride and, it, you know. Big month for straight white women. Big month for guys like us gotta to go, go to out there. Yeah, got to go to Target. Who's actually there? There's this article. Target is treating Pride Month very differently this year. Yes. So apparently they're scaling back. Target and a lot of other stores and companies are scaling back on the Pride stuff they were doing. Which, which are you is, fucking is, serious? That's homophobia. Yeah. actually. So if if it's if it's Gay Pride Month and you're like. Oh, I don't know if people are going to like that we're like, you know, we make a t-shirt that says you better suck a cock or kill yourself. <laughs> we are going to try to like not make that t-shirt this year. Hey, fuck you and you're a bigot. Make that shirt. Am I going to wear it? Absolutely not. But I'm going to be like, nice. Yeah. But I'll be pretty far away from any guy that's wearing it for totally. sure. Totally, yeah. Yeah. You'll be socially distant yeah, from that I'll guy. Yeah, I'll be more than six more feet than, away. Yeah. yeah. I'll be yeah. very far away. Yeah, Target is treating Pride Month very differently this year after previously facing condemnation over its related merchandise. Many conservatives called for a boycott against the retail chain following the release of its 2023 Pride collection items, which promoted the LGBTQ community. Other conservatives also claimed that Target was selling tuck-friendly swimsuits for children, but it was later reported that these products, which help transgender people to conceal their genitalia, were only sold for adults. Due to the backlash, Target has said that this year, its Pride collection will only appear in select stores and online, and there will be no apparel for children. It will also feel, uh, feature a variety of themed home food and beverage items. According themed to Themed home food and beverage? There's, so there's gay food? Yes. What's a gay food? I mean, other than cock. You know, right? <laughs> like, uh, is that like what it is? Like, it's like, hey, it's a jar of hot dogs. You know what it is. You know what? You know yeah. what? They just put like uh, Oscar Myers, and they take like there's just like rainbow, and they're like, hey, take it all in one bite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe that is what. This. Or or try try eating it the other way. You got it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Barefoot bubbly pride sweet, Stella Rosa. So it's just rainbow. It's drinks. definitely for girls. You know? Right. Like wine and all that stuff. I mean, you know, girls are definitely buying into this very, very hard. So yeah. Yeah, so we're we're we can't believe that Target is scaling back its pride stuff. They should double down and do even more. Make the whole store gay. Yeah, you know. Actually, you should fire all your straight employees. Yeah, and uh, when you when you work at Target, you should just be having gay sex in there. Yeah, you know, all the employees at Target should be having gay sex when you walk in, and then you go in and it's like you you just join in this giant gay orgy. Yeah, that would be cool. And then when you leave, you get a tuck-friendly bathing suit, and you just go out to the, you know, the pool party with your boys in your tuck-friendly bathing yeah, suit. Yeah, just tuck it up. I was trying to get one of those tuck-friendly bathing suits, you know? Yeah. I actually, yeah, I kind of, I, you know, I have a plight that I have to deal with, and I, um, I kind of need that, you know? Because what it does is it conceals your penis, right? Right. 
and um you know i've been told that my penis is fat uh-huh you know by um so i'm in the body positive movement right with my giant fat penis yeah okay? and uh you it's know. brave of you to just come out there and yeah. admit this publicly. Thanks. It's re- it's really hard to um, to admit, but um, but I'm not afraid. I'm not I'm not ashamed to talk about my big fat penis. Okay, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm sick of it. You know. Yeah. So um, yeah, this body shaming I, needs to stop. Yeah, I've been made to be like, oh, I'm so, sort sort of freak with my huge giant penis, and I'm just not having it anymore. Yeah. I'm not. Hey, I have a big penis, okay? Deal with it. So, wow. yeah, thanks. Yeah. That <laughs> That's is my just... big penis busting in your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you fucking jerks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So I, I should get these tuck-friendly bathing suits yeah. because when I go to the pool, people are like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? And I'm like, what am I supposed to do, Okay. My pants are wet. They're like my your bathing suit's they're white. Like, but you're you're naked though. Your bathing suit is yeah, pulled like down at your ankles. They're like you have like the size of your trunks are so small that your penis is dangling <laughs> out of the bottom of them. And it's like, look, it's in to wear short shorts right now. Okay, I can't help it. You know, mm. so don't judge me. But if I had a little pocket to stuff my penis into, yeah, then maybe it would be better. And then I wouldn't be body shamed all the time for my my big fat penis. Yeah. So, well, I hope you can find some tuck friendly mm-hmm. Pride Month stuff. But I guess and... Target's not doing that now. So thanks, yeah. Target. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go down to the pool and be, you know, ridiculed by everybody. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. Really sad. Yeah, really sorry to hear that, but. But yeah, there are these. So a lot of a lot of things are happening at these pride parades in Philadelphia. There was a video of the moment pro-Palestine protesters clash with pride parade, causing social media to erupt. Queers for Palestine had a change of heart. So wait, so there's a gay pride parade. Yes, and then Queers for Palestine <laughs> is not part of the pride parade. They are blocking the street that the pride parade is on yes so so imagine what you're seeing you're seeing a bunch of gay people like you know we're gay we suck each other's cocks how awesome is that you know just a giant you know thing of that moving up the street and then there's these queers for palestine who look like they should be in the parade Uh uh-huh but they're not no they got better things to do right block the same street that the parade is on Mm -hmm. so then they get to a thing and then they're like hey let us pass and then they do like a bridge troll kind of thing where they're like you shall not pass yes because gaza or something uh yeah yeah they say no pride in genocide so the one yeah that's what one poster said the implication of they're which so many good, of they're, they're very good at getting like banger rhymes yeah yeah they're good at know? rhyming yeah. Uh, the implication of which may have been that it is not appropriate to be celebrating Pride Month as normal while the conflict in the Middle East still rages. The protest was executed by Queers for Palestine, a minority faction within the queer community who have been extremely vocal these last eight months about the intersection of what they believe is the structural <laughs> oppression of Palestinians and the historic prejudice faced by their community. Does anyone know anybody that is in one of the, that's like one of these people that's like. You know what I mean? Like, there's got to be someone in someone's friend group. Because, I mean, this podcast is, like, super LGBTQ friendly. Yeah. Like, every, like I'm sure we have a huge gay listener. Huge gay following. Everyone yeah. that's gay listens to this podcast. Right. Do you hear that? You're watching this podcast? You're gay, dude. Mm-hmm. All right? Um, and congrats, you know? <laughs> yeah. Congrats on your gayness. But, like, some, you know, just with everybody that listens to the show, someone knows someone that is into that stuff right so mm-hmm. it's like what what's it like hanging out with that person you know awesome yeah I, I mean, yeah of course like hey you want to go get a coffee i can't get a coffee right now at a time like this mm-hmm. with what's going on right like on the other side of the country that i have absolutely no way of influencing in either in any way shape or form mm-hmm. right yeah how dare you enjoy life how dare you're gay? How dare you go to a Pride Month parade? 
That's cool when that they're, you got when, your rights. But. When people in Palestine are are being are being bombed and and these the the gay people in Palestine are being discriminated against by Israel, not by their own government, yeah. but by Israel. Yeah, you know, because yeah, that's we'll, what, we'll cover that thing once we get the other. Thing. Yeah, yeah. There's a checklist. Right, right. Yeah, but yeah, how dare you? How dare you do anything enjoyable mm-hmm. while this war on the other side of the world is going on? It's uh, you remember that sketch on SNL, Debbie Downer? Yeah, it's De- they're Debbie Downers. Right, that's what it is. Right, they're they're like uh, you know, just like, hey, we're having a you know like a fun party, and you're like, you know what's going on over there. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should talk about that right now. Yeah. It's like, all right, cool, man. Yeah. Also, as we've talked about before, we love Queers for Palestine. It's, our it's not the most like hypocritical, ideologically inconsistent it organization ever it do, it's, created. It's not on the level of satire as like birds aren't real. Yeah. Or yeah. chickens for KFC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. not. It's not that. No. It completely makes sense. Yeah. Queers for Palestine. Those queers love Palestine. What, and those Palestine, the you know, Palestine loves those queers what, right back. What do those people say when they're met with that, like, you know they hate you, right? I, I'll tell you what they say. I see, I see it online all the time. They say, oh, you think being gay is so great here in America either? Oh, okay. You think it's great here? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they yeah. hit you with that. And then the, as they walk into a rainbow target, right. it's like... Yeah, they see a gay guy walk in the whole, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like when you walk into Mo's, they're like, welcome to Mo's. They're like, hey, a gay guy. Woo. Yeah. And they carry you on their shoulders like <laughs> yeah. a hero. Yeah. yeah. Le- don't Jews do that with the. the, the yeah. Uh, and the like, chair. Yeah, yeah. They put you in that chair and they're like. Ah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, th- <laughs> so that's their response. Oh, you think we have it great here? Yeah. And that's a great response that mm-hmm. makes so much sense yeah you know yeah that's like we we totally agree it's just as bad to be gay here in america where gay marriage is legal that yeah and there's parades for it mm-hmm. it's just as bad to be gay here in america as it is in gaza yeah or anywhere else in the middle east that's I, not i Israel. think they think like a public stoning is a parade right it's like the same thing yeah it's like hey a bunch of people like met at a place they're all looking at you they're yeah. all crowding around you some and people are pretty stoked yeah yeah know? they're hooping and hollering yeah. yeah people are screaming yeah yeah so what's the difference There's between that and some gay people a there. float in a pride parade yeah yeah so it's not again what if they like mix the two like there's like a pride parade and then they come here and then they throw rocks at the just the floats like down the street like that would be well that's essentially what's happening with the you know the pride versus the queers for Palestine. There, there's video of them like, like getting into physical altercations. <laughs> That's great. Like, yeah, like a, a rainbow wearing Palestine, like Palestine shirt, fighting like a gay dick hat guy. Right. Yeah. Right. It's and, like the ultimate like gay Mortal Combat. You know. Right. And back to, you know, what the response is to like, oh, you know how they treat gay people over there. It's like their response is perfect. Oh, you think we have it great here? Because it doesn't have to like I'm sick of people saying like your like arguments need political arguments need to make sense. They don't. No. It just has to feel good. It feels it has it, to feel as good. As long as it feels good. Just like That's last all that week. Matters. It feels good when Sonny Hostin and Whoopi Goldberg are saying like, you know, a lot of times these players in the NBA are as good or better than the men. And the crowd goes wild. It's like gotta go nuts. It's like, that. no, that's not necessarily backed up in objective fact, but it feels good to say. Yeah. It feels good to say here that America is the worst country for gay people and that queers for Palestine makes no fucking sense. Mm-hmm. It's bad to say that because it feels good to say that it does make sense. Mm-hmm. And so like things don't have to be true. Yeah, when someone Your truth is more important than the, the truth. truth. Yeah. So if your truth is that WNBA players are better than men, good. If your truth is that gay people in America are the most oppressed out of any country in the world, fine, just say whatever the fuck you want. It mm-hmm. doesn't have to make sense. It just has to feel good. 
Yeah. yeah. So and it has to like annoy someone that degree uh, disagrees with you politically. Of course. And if you're doing that, you're you're feeling good and dunking on someone politically. That's a big win. Yes. You know? So and you know that's like that's like a that's like the number one like you know new way to debate now where it's like somebody says makes a very good point and there's like kind of like a checkmate situation you just go uh uh and that's it yeah that's how you get out of that yeah you go i don't think so and then they're like what facts do you have to back that up and you're like you're racist and then yeah. that's it yeah mm. or you're a bigot or uh climate change or Mental health. Mental health. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, yeah. Just run through any of those or all of those if you really want to. That's like the the Uno, like wild draw four. That's like a, just a big dunk on the, on the pile. Right. Yeah. So. So we got to get to this. We buried the lead of, for once, some good news yeah. on this podcast. Finally. Finally. Mm hmm. Donald Trump has been convicted of 34 felony counts, the first time ever that a U.S. president has been convicted of a crime. I'm speaking. We were so happy. We were like, we were like crying of happiness. Yeah, it was like when, um, you know, I, I can't think of a, a a good moment in this country's history. Yeah, but, I can't either. Yeah, but we would we would hug and you know it's like those you know those tweets that are like when I saw Hillary like you know saying she was going to be a president or whatever I hugged my gay daughter and right remember those oh yeah yeah those were great yeah Ruth Conda it. forever yeah 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 those kind of <laughs> tweets yeah. So Donald Trump has been convicted of 34 felony accounts. What was he convicted for? We're not really no, sure, but, yeah, but that kinda, doesn't fucking matter. Okay, can't really explain what exactly he did or what. Something was, about paying off Stormy Daniels. He paid for sex, and that's and that's bad. Even though we love sex work, and you right, pay. sex work is wor real work, but paying sex but workers paying that, is bad. Yeah. Also, we want to abolish. Uh, prisons, and we want to, yeah, abolish the police, yeah, abolish and people prisons. People shouldn't be locked but, up for nonviolent crimes, but fuck that stupid Cheeto orange fuck, and he should be, you know, yes, locked up forever. Also, people deserve second chances and mm -hmm. rehabilitation, and saying that someone is a convicted felon is not a scarlet letter, but rather a chance for them to turn their life around and, and, and reintroduce them into society. Except for Trump, he's a, convic a convicted felon. <laughs> you orange Cheeto convicted felon. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> You're orange. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, again, our arguments don't need to be consistent, okay? It just needs mm. to feel good. And right now, it feels good to say that Trump deserves to be locked up. Lock him up. How do you like that? <laughs> Lock so, him up. So he was convicted of 34 counts of of what? Like he like, does that mean he like banged the porn star 34 times or what does that what does that mean? It's like there's different stuff like falsifying business records, like paying with campaign funds and it's it's just yeah. Okay. He deserves all 34 counts it's totally not just politically motivated it mm. is did you see that video of him being like this is a disgrace yeah that was hilarious <laughs> just walked out of the courthouse and just right like breaking the fourth it was wall. literally like uh like when you watch those like judge judy shows and shit like that where they're like hey uh tyrell you have to pay your baby mama like you know the 275 bucks you owe her Right. Yeah, that shit's bullshit. <laughs> you know? Right. Like, like, why do they do that interview? Yeah. Like, it's never good. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, this sucks. This it's is totally rigged. 
a political witch hunt. It was a witch hunt. Yeah. And I did nothing wrong. I'm an innocent man. And these New York are it's these New York courts are very corrupt. Very rigged. Very rigged, just like the election. But vote for me in the next one, even though the last one was rigged. But this one's huh. not going to be rigged. Unless, of course, I lose, then it'll be rigged again. But if I win, then that will not be rigged. Well, he's, he's banking on two, his quote or his slogan right now is too big to rig. Too big to too rig. Too big to rig. Because there will be <laughs> billions more of that, votes. That's what he's saying. Yeah. There was there was what a, he's saying. We're too big to rig. Wait, there was so that's a, how he's saying that. Like, that's how he's because there'll be so many more people voting for him. This this. I mean, term now he's like that, the bad boy. That the so Democrats like, can't stop it. They you know can't I mean? rig it. Oh. So now he's like the political bad boy, you know, because he's gonna be in prison. So it, it's like, so here's what's gonna happen. Like he's gonna, like if he wins, he'll be in jail. When, President from yeah, jail. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it'll be like he's like literally behind bars, and they'll be like, uh, "All right, the you know, 2024 president of the United States," and he's gonna be like, "All right, first order of business, I'm out of prison. I exonerate myself." You know, and then yeah. the you know the fucking doors are gonna open, and he's gonna like do like a WWE entrance. Yeah. Pyrotechnics are gonna shoot up out of the jail cells, and yeah. he's gonna. Oh, the glass breaks, you know, like stone cold when he comes out. Yeah. Do you see like when he walked into the UFC uh, fight on Saturday? No. He like made this big entrance into this UFC fight and they all gave him a big, big yeah, like, cheer. Because, of course, there's yeah. a bunch of dumb bro. Oh, let me put two oh, men in a cage and watch, watch them kill men, each other. Yeah, let's watch two men fight. And, oh, shocker. We love Trump. Hey, oh, get on top of each why. other and choke each other out. Yeah. Ugh. Wonder why those guys like Trump. Yeah. So, yeah, we hope he goes to jail mm -hmm. and is an able to I mean, to just run. think about, like, I mean, I constantly see Joe Biden talk about how good it is, you know? Like, it's really good right now. Bidenomics? Yeah. Oh, how good the, yeah, you the just, country is doing. Yeah, you just say it's good. Right. You know? People like, and then when someone's like, makes a point where they're like, uh, it's like, fast food is like $30 to, it's like $35 for like a Big Mac and fries now. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you go, oh, come on, man. It's just, it's good right now. Right. You know? We're trying to do better, you know? We got to make, uh, Fast food employees got to make more money. Yeah, 20 bucks an hour mm -hmm. in uh, California. Here, here's what I say, right? Maybe maybe we're going the wrong way with all this stuff, right? Like the minimum wage needs to raise. How about the maximum wage needs to lower to $15 an hour? What do you think about that? Oh, I like that. Everybody makes $15 yeah. an hour. I like that. Yeah. 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 Fast food considered a luxury... Uh, to consumers due to increase in price so yeah i mean there's tons of articles about that stuff mm -hmm. um several restaurants are leaving uh california um red lobster rest in peace yeah red lobsters out yeah uh i was reading a thing about cracker barrel they have a they have a new girl boss ceo who is okay who uh, is not happy with how Cracker Barrel conducts itself because it's like basically like a old people restaurant. It's racist. Yeah, it is racist. It's I mean, just, it's, oh, it's, it's, let's just get a bunch of old white people together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, country? A, country time? What's yeah. that mean? Cracker yeah. Barrel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wonder who they're trying to market to there. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Have you ever been to a Cracker Barrel? So many, dude. Yeah. I've been, yeah. Oh, there's a lot. In, oh, my God. They're, yeah, all over the southeast. Florida. I'm yeah. from where they're from. They're, like, yeah. the southeast. Yeah. Dude, like, Sunday after church, dude, it's packed in there. Yeah. Everybody's sitting on those uh, rocking chairs on the... They have, like, a bunch of rocking chairs out on the, the mm -hmm. porch. They have a porch you can hang out on. Yeah. And then you play big checkers with your grandma. Mm -hmm. She fucking wins because she doesn't move her goddamn back row. Fucking bitch. You know? 
Yeah. And then you go inside and you have to walk through a gift shop that sells like bullshit. Right. Like uh like the cup with the ball, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's all like old, it's all timey old to shit. toys. Yeah. Yeah, it's like shit like none of it has changed since like 1960, mm -hmm. you know. Uh when I was a kid I got a harmonica there. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, so food's good. Gotcha. Food's great. It's cheap. Yeah. I don't know how it is now, but but I'm sure it's bad and racist. I would never go there now. Yeah. Definitely. And they have a bunch of like rustic bullshit on like the walls and stuff. Like the decor is like there's so much junk on the walls. Yeah. Which I heard is why they don't really have them out here because the decor of the restaurant is kind of a earthquake problem. Oh, really? Because things would just like fly off the walls if, oh, yeah. if like a bad earthquake happened. Mm. I think. And then that's a rumor. I'm not totally sure if that's true, but gotcha. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Or it just totally wouldn't work here because nobody's like, oh, cool, southern white trash stuff. Cool. Yeah. You know, like I don't think that would do well here. But it might now, ironically, because you know how people are doing like the I'm an ironic cowboy stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. I love <laughs> the South, but like I don't because I'm like a cool hipster. Yeah. I, I actually hate people from the South. Right. But it's, I've never been in the South ever in my life, and I think everybody from there is a stupid retard that wears a cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do like the ironic cowboy <laughs> thing. Yeah. But, yeah, so we hope, anyway, back to Trump, we hope he goes to jail. We hope he's not able to run for president. And we hope there's no replacement Republican nominee. We hope they just yeah, give it to Biden. Yeah, replace him? Uh, Chris Christie, his big uh, he's, potato body. With yeah, he's... The, too busy at he's at Cracker Barrel right he now. He is at Cracker so, Barrel. Yeah. yeah, I think he just lives there. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. he is the barrel. He that, is. The, he does look like a he barrel. Is actually. The Cracker Dude, Barrel. Dude, actually, can you pull up? Uh, type in uh, Chris Christie baseball. Yeah, the, yeah. We looked at these pictures. This is uh, unbelievable. A few episodes. He looks ago. like a cartoon. He character. looks like a barrel. Yeah. Are <laughs> you like? Have you seen like the Milwaukee Brewers? Like they have a mascot that's like the barrel. Uh, yeah, like what is going on with the FUPA situation there? He looks yeah. like a Nintendo Wii guy. Yeah, now now type in Like when you play Wii baseball, that's what your guy looks like. Now type in Milwaukee Brewers barrel. <laughs> and it's the same Why did he wear that? <laughs> Don't wear that, dude. It's the same shape. You got body. it. Yeah. And also, yeah, after you look up that barrel. Yeah. Yeah, barrel man. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh my god. Isn't dude, it the same? It's Chris Christie. Yeah, yeah. This is Chris Christie, <laughs> dude. Holy shit. That must have been like inspired that's by That's the guy. I thought it was like a bearded like When did it look like Oh no, that well that's not their not that's not like the guy who like goes down the sl That's Bernie. You're thinking of Bernie Brewer. Uh oh. God. Yeah, Bernie the, Brewer is Bru a different Bernie guy. Bernie Brewer is not the mascot. No, he is, but this is like one of their. This is like their old timey logo, the Barrel Man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, Bernie that's Brewer. what I thought their guy was. Yeah, holy shit! But Chris Christie is the Barrel Man. Yeah, one hundred percent, he's the Barrel Man. Um, look up uh, Nintendo Wii Baseball. See, we hate sports on this podcast, but sometimes we have to look at. Google image results. Uh, just, yeah, yeah, look. Oh, yeah. That's a Chris Christie body right there. Right, right, right. You know? Very circular. <laughs> He's a polygon. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, so, yeah, who would they place, <laughs> replace Trump with? Maybe Nikki Haley, maybe a girl boss. Mm -hmm. She was the last one to, well, it seemed like she was kind of holding out for this to happen. She was oh, waiting yeah. for... Him to go to jail I haven't or something. Heard and, anything from her in a while. Yeah. Well, she, she said she would vote for him in the election. Are you serious? Yeah. How dare you, Nikki? How dare you? Yeah. How could you do that? Yeah. To us. Yeah. So we hope he doesn't run <laughs> and we hope there's no replacement. We hope they just give the election to Biden. Or it shouldn't be an election. It should be he just gets the presidency for another four years because mm -hmm. we love Biden. Yeah. So there's another political court case going on. 
Hunter Biden's firearms case questions question on gun rights, addiction, politics. Federal gun case against President Joe Biden's son Hunter opened Monday with jury selection following the collapse of a plea deal that would have avoided the spectacle of a trial so close to the 2024 election. First Lady Jill Biden was seated in the front row of the courtroom in a show of support for her son. In a statement, the president said he has boundless love for my son, confidence in him, and respect for his strength. I'm the president, but I'm also a dad, he said, adding that 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 would have no further comment on the case. Jill and I love our son. We are so proud of the man he is today. Hunter Biden, who spent the weekend with his parents, has been charged in Delaware with three felonies stemming from a 2018 firearm purchase when he was, according to his memoir, in the throes of a crack addiction. He has been accused of lying to a federally licensed gun dealer, making false claim on the application used to screen firearm applicants by saying he was not a drug user and illegally having the gun for 11 days. So... Well, all of this stuff, not nearly as bad yeah. as paying a porn star to have sex with you. Yes. You know? Yeah, nothing to see here. He did nothing wrong. As Jill and Joe said, we are proud of the man he is today. He is totally not an embarrassment to that family. Mm -hmm. They are very proud of him. We need, we, we need him to get his vlog channel going again, you know? Yes. His like, hey, what up, fam? I'm about to crack and fuck a whore. Let me yeah. uh, let me let me live stream that. Yeah. And sleep with his dead brother's wife. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we love that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was yeah. That was something. What a family. Yeah. Yeah. Royalty. Yeah. Yeah. We love them almost as much as we love the royal family. Mm hmm What are they doing now? We're not hearing much about them either. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. But speaking of Girl boss politicians. Mexico election 2024. Claudia Scheinbaum set to become Sounds president. Sounds very Mexican. <laughs> Claudia Scheinbaum? Yes. Wow. Uh, the first woman and first Jewish president of Mexico. She bested her opponent. I, there's a lot of... The one who broke through 200 years of male governments. Mexico now joins a list of 11 Latin American nations that are or have been governed by a, by women. Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, Haiti, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama. The country with 129.5 million inhabitants and the <clears throat> second largest economy in Latin America is known for its machismo and violence against women. But Sunday, Scheinbaum... That's like, wait, that's, it says that in the article? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mexicans are known for hitting women, and they voted for a lady. Yeah, this is... yeah, From little Miss Magazine. Little, which, ra little racist much by yeah. this AP article. Oh, that's the AP? Yeah. I was reading the article from Miss Magazine. Oh, that sounds like a better one. Yeah, it's definitely less biased than, than AP, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, she was running against another woman. Yeah, yeah. So a woman was guaranteed so, to. How do you say that? X O, I have no idea. So, ch so chi so chital chiotl Galvez. I think it's like chi when you. Oh, okay. With the X or chio chio chital Galvez. Yeah. Ketz Ketzital. Ketzacotal. That's like a. That's like some. I took some like Mexican class when I was oh, in yeah. college. Some, and, yeah, Spanish I, I class. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Was it a class? No, on? It was, no. Some. No, we did. We studied like Mexican history. Stuff, oh, okay. We one of the things we talked about was Quetzalcoatl. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It, I think it, I which remember I think that is in my the Spanish class Chupacabra too. Chupacabra or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something <laughs> it's like the that. same thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. I remember I, I got a bunch of shit in that class because we were reading stuff. And when we were reading, the word uh, Arab came up. Uh -huh. and I, I accidentally said Arab. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody made fun of me for like months. Love that. Yeah. But um, yeah, so Mexico is, uh, they have a lot of violence. They have a high. They're just constantly punching women down there. Yeah. So. Makes sense why a woman. They have a lot of violence. Though. You know why? 
white supremacy. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Uh, it let's... says, um, let's see, Scheinbaum is uh, a native of the capital megacity. Uh, she's the daughter of two scientists. She's a former student activist among the and among the country's few Jewish politicians. So, yeah. So yeah, she and she's like super liberal, right? So we we yeah. we who, like who that. Thought? We yeah. We, we love Big her. Surprise. We love her, and uh, yeah, we and look, they're saying there's like this problem with like cartel violence, mm -hmm. but it's like that's not that's their culture, you know? Yeah, it's it's their culture of like hitting women, like yeah. that the, they said in that AP article. Yeah. You know, Mexico, the brown place where they're just constantly punching women in the face. Yeah. Anyway, we're not racist. Yeah. That's wild they put that in the article. Yeah. So, uh, oh, she's a climate scientist, so we like that. Well, just skimming she's this not article everything here. you would think she's, she's going to be. You know? a, a box checking of, of, like, the perfect... Just like Left every liberal candidate. candidate you've ever seen, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, yeah, we love this. And and if there's any Mexican women out there who are celebrating this historic event mm -hmm. and you're just really happy and you're so excited, they broke the glass ceiling in Mexico. Isn't it a little embarrassing mm -hmm. that Mexico broke the glass ceiling before the U.S.? Are you fucking kidding me? Isn't that embarrassing for us? How dare you? Mexico? Even even Mexico? We, those those people? We have to get a girl those, president. Those if, people yeah. broke it before us? Ugh. Yeah, that's, those I can't, those people down I can't there? Believe, yeah, they're down there and we're up yeah, here and they're Even them? Yeah. I'm trying to think there was a uh poly, it might have been was it Biden or some other politician who, who said a quote like that? It's like even Mexico is like in a very like derogatory way. Yeah, it might, might have been Hillary. Yeah, it was Hillary. Really? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the exact. Maybe producer Alex can find it. But but yes, a little embarrassing that Mexico beat us to the punch, breaking the glass ceiling, but we're glad they did. And if there are any Mexican women just celebrating right now, having a fiesta right now, mm -hmm. drinking maybe... some tequila and maybe right now come over here and have a siesta yeah you know yeah just come up from that border you can walk right over because you figure out your own way over yeah yeah and it's because you're a girl boss and, and you don't need you don't need a man to smuggle you across the border right. or or marry you for a green card marriage you don't need that mm -hmm. you don't need a man yeah figure out your own way over and you don't have to be a woman from mexico you can be a mexican american woman. or you can just be you, a woman uh, with a tan <laughs> if you're kind of tan because it's summertime yeah i was going to split the difference and say like any latin american woman any latinx i'll woman. say any woman yeah or just yeah we'll just and if you're tan nice bonus and if you're not that's that's cool fine too. too. You yeah. probably have a skin condition, but I'm cool with that. Yeah, and I support you. Yeah, literally any woman mm -hmm. hit us up. Yeah, to celebrate President Claudia. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that sound nice? That's hot. Yeah. Wow. Maybe maybe that country will. Can stop. she be president here? Yeah. Why don't, maybe why, maybe she can replace. Maybe she can illegally immigrate to the United States and then become the president here. How cool would that be? Yeah. We we need to the change the rules. Illegal immigrant to become president. We need to change the rules. For you, you, didn't pick, <laughs> you didn't pick up on that one. Yeah. Who was the first one? Trump. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we need to change the rules so you don't have to be born in the US to be mm -hmm. a president. Yeah. Like what what would be the problem with that? Someone just comes over here from another country and becomes the president. Why yeah. is that? Why is that? Sounds bad? pretty xenophobic. Yeah. Oh, the founding fathers in 1776 
said no one born outside of here can be president. You have to come out of your mom in the United in States. In the U.S. Were huh? you inside of the, the walls of this country when you came out of a pussy? You weren't? Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, get out. And you can never be president because we can't trust you if you weren't born here. Sounds a little racist. Yeah. Sounds a little xenophobic. Mm-hmm. Founding fathers. Mm-hmm. Sounds a little archaic. Why is that still if, the law? If we if we were up to it, only people from outside of the United States could be president here. Yeah. Because they, they have more perspective because they've been to another place. That and they know sucks more than this place. But well, when they come well, here, then they'll yeah. When they come they, here, they'll bring their you know their ideas from their country that sucks, and that's why they come here. Yeah, They're like oh Jesus Christ, I gotta get out of this shithole. Then they come to the United States, and then they go, hey, this place sucks. It's not as bad as that, or it's uh it's way worse, worse than that shithole that I, I literally had to flee. Yeah, to come over flee here. for my life. Yeah. yeah. And now I make six figures hosting a show, right? <laughs> right. But but this place sucks. The yeah. second I got here, I started making six figures. But this place sucks. Yeah, they need to yeah. change the the laws of presidential requirements so Trevor Noah can be the president. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got a couple of emails here. Oh, um, there's... God, we, I mean, there's just, we could make this episode two hours. I mean, we we, could talk about Caitlin Clark. But are we the Joe Rogan podcast? No, we're better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wrap it up, Joe. We don't have four hours to listen to you talk. Oh, I'm a man, so my opinions are important enough to to merit three plus hours. Let's eat some elk and swing kettlebells and uh, do DMT. And just eat pizza. He's, well, eat, well, he's eating pizza. I, mean, I was I was listening the last Rogan episode I tried to listen to it was him and Elon, I think. Yeah, they, were, they were just Yeah, they ordered pizza. They were late, just eating late, they were recording late at night. So they were the just eating pizza, pizza for yeah, like that's... an hour. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this is good, man. Oh yeah, I love this local place in Austin. <laughs> yeah, we're... Shut up, Joe. I'm not trying to listen to you eat. Send me a slice. Yeah. You know? I want some pepperoni. Yeah. God. Maybe, maybe we should do that on a episode. So, two hundred and two. We're fucking just just eating, dominoes. just eating the whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, got an email here. Topic for the show: Two woke boys, big fan of the show. I was wondering what the two woke boys' take on AI girlfriends is. On one hand, it seems like they are removing toxic men from the dating market, which is good. But it also seems like they are taking power away from women, which is bad. I'm pretty confused, and I'm interested in the two woke boys making this decision for me. Uh, keep on being the voice of women and people of color. It always sounds better when you two shut them up and speak for them. So, thank you, you two. Yeah. Um, yeah, he said, uh, P.S., I'm pretty sure my Venmo got hacked. Otherwise, otherwise, I would totally, uh, I was totally going to donate to the slot fund, but his Venmo's hacked. Heard that one before. Yeah, we've heard that before. Figured out. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, so AI girlfriends. That's a good point, you know, because cause it is taking toxic men out. If you can't get women, you can get a computer woman. But does that computer woman consent? Mm. You know, are these AI girlfriends? Yes. Oh, interesting that they all look like this. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't see I any body should, positive I don't see AI a fat, girlfriends. Gross AI girlfriend, which yeah. is what you should get. Yeah, that's what you should get. You should. It should be like a like a you know like when they're like, hey, draw a card, and you're like, that's what you get. You're like, all right, here's your AI girlfriend. Click here, and then you open the door, and it's just like this. It looks like Chris Christie, you know? Right. Barrel man. Mm. Yeah, actually, okay, so we hate this, that they're hot. Yeah. You know? And now you won't. there won't be a scandal with us just having, like, AI girlfriend orgies with only the hot ones. No. You know? Like, we, like two woke boys found with 
goon cave of you know AI girlfriends that are all smoke show tens mm -hmm. after you know shitting on listeners to have fat gross AI girlfriends, right? You know that definitely won't come out. No, down that's the not road. happening. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we hate that they're hot. That's that's trash. But it's good that they exist. So then it's good that they exist, but they need to make them because this is creating bad body standards for women. Right. You know how women say that when they mm -hmm. see when they see a hot woman, they go, "That's impossible." And you're like, "Well, what about for that hot woman?" In that she yeah. did it. Yeah, that's unrealistic. It's yeah. unrealistic to look like this woman that's a person that, is that totally real. exists. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like you know, men have like body standards. Like, oh, this guy's like a superhero, and he's on steroids. Right. Okay. You know. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, so. Yeah, women have impossible body standards to deal with. Yep. So that's bad. Okay. What else about AI girlfriends? I don't think they can consent, right? That is an interesting argument. Because it's like, the, oh, you have an AI girlfriend. What does she say about that? Yeah. You paid a fee and now you have an AI girlfriend? Sex trafficking. Yeah. Which is bad, but sex work is good. If you paid her and the AI girlfriend got to take the money and spend it on her own stuff, then that's good, right? Right. But since you're paying someone, who's who's developing AI girlfriends? Is it uh, a man? Clearly, because they're if all hot. A, yeah, if it's a man, that's bad. Mm -hmm. If a man is making AI girlfriends bad, if a woman is making AI girlfriends good, if a fat woman that's gross is making AI girlfriends, that's even better. And if a fat woman that's making AI girlfriends is making gross AI girlfriends, that's the best. Yes. And then you're forced to pay for it. Yeah. Without your consent. Right. As a man. Right. Like you subscribe to it and then you can't unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. Also, are they, are they getting in like fights or the, you know, like do the AI girlfriends go like, you never listen to me, and you're like, oh, does it? Unlike human relationships where consent can be violated or manipulated, AI companions are programmed to strictly adhere to predetermined boundaries and preferences set by their human partners, ensuring a, set, a safe and ethical interaction. Wow, this doesn't sound like a dystopian corporate gross thing yeah not at all unlike real people this fake person is better yeah predetermined boundaries and preferences set by their human <clears throat> so would a human ever set a boundary would some incel guy who got one of these ever be like yeah i want her to turn me down every now and then to like keep me on my toes mm -hmm. would they say that yeah no no you article they wouldn't say that Mm -hmm. They would say she always has to be DTF. Yeah. Are they fucking? How are oh, they? Yeah. How are you fucking your AI girlfriend? Because it's a robot. Yeah, I know, but like, yeah, but it's a, no, it's a, isn't it just like an AI program? Like you talk to your. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, well, what's there's... the, like, it's like a blow up doll with like a computer in it. And then you're like, hey, Let's go. Well, I think there's different levels of the, you know, you can do one that's just, and I wouldn't know this from experience because I yeah, only we, date like real women. Like yeah. totally. I've never, yeah. you know. We support AI girlfriends, yeah. but like we don't have. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. it's not the only time I've also, ever talked with, to with, a woman. With the AI girlfriend, can you be like, hey, like the AI girlfriend's like, what are we? And you're like, look, hey, it's just like, we're just like being cool right now, you know? Yeah. Interesting picture there. Yeah. Article about AI girlfriends. Are AI rom romance bots good practice for shy people? Mm. Can you use chat GPT to create an AI girlfriend? <laughs> like someone's going into chat GPT. <laughs> Will you date me? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey... Chat GPT, will you date me? And then the answer is like, nah. 
Yeah. So this is just. Yeah, we would never need to use this because we can. We have plenty of options of real women. We, we don't just, need we, fake girlfriends. We, okay? we kind of can't go out because like women are constantly just like, like mob us. us yeah. You're, yeah, they're like, oh my god, are those those guys from that podcast that like cares about women so much? Mm -hmm. yeah. We're like, God, can we just can we just go anywhere in peace? Yeah, can we go to a Cracker Barrel in peace? Yeah, without being, we thought we'd be safe at this Cracker Barrel mm -hmm. amongst all these dumb hicks who probably don't know about a podcast that's the voice of women and people of color. But nope, they don't even can't know what even a podcast go here. Is. You're right. Yeah, you go there and you, they're like, "What do you do?" And you're like, "I, I run a podcast." So it's like a iPod, you're like, and a sure. cast. Yeah. Oh, like a cast of a fishing line. Okay, yeah. Is that so? You got an iPod and a fishing line. How do I listen to that? Yeah. Yeah. So what? What? What channel is it on the radio? If right. I'm in my car, like what? What FM station do I turn it to? Are you on a? You're you're one of them AM queers. Yeah. You're like, dude, get out of here. You don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. So I think we covered that, right? We like. Uh, we like AI girlfriends, kind of. Well, it's like it's a incels are bad. <laughs> yeah. S uh, sex work is good. Mm-hmm. It's but, helping incels, which we don't like. Yeah, we right. Hate helping incels bad because uh -huh. we should just kill them all. Yeah, but Who kill themselves. That's what. Kind yeah, of they yeah, do, yeah, yeah. We should encourage them to kill themselves in mm -hmm. comment sections online. Yeah, and helping incels bad, but incels talking to fake women instead of real women good mm -hmm. because no women, no real women are at risk of getting harassed or worse. But then, but then, fake women are. Taking away jobs, taking from, away jobs from yeah. real women. Women, also the fake women are hotter, and the fake women are made by men. Right, and they're way hotter than real women. Yeah, <laughs> which and is creating not okay. bad body standards for right. women. Yeah, by having huge tits and huge asses and being really hot. Yeah, and being down to fuck all the time. Right, and not talking your ear off about some yeah. stupid shit you don't care yeah, about. I just turn my computer off if I don't want to hear her dumb bullshit. Right. It doesn't make me go to a stupid fucking brunch on Sunday. Yeah. When I could be playing softball with my boys. Yeah. Hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Like, hey, let me tell you about my day at work. Okay, yeah, one second. Off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I hey, should everybody. look into these AI girlfriends. Yeah, all, yeah I, I play softball, and all my friends are like, I never see the girls you're talking to at the softball game. I'm like, oh, yeah, check this out. And I open up a laptop. I'm like, I brought her today. I open up a laptop. It's in the stands. They all start laughing so, at you. You're like, what? what? What's funny? What's wrong with my girl? Stop making fun of my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's thin? Yeah, I bought a MacBook Air. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Someone hits a foul ball, like breaks my girlfriend. <laughs> No! no oh my you god you broke my girlfriend you piece of shit yeah yeah you go over kill the you guy you abused my girlfriend yeah i can't believe it you yeah. owe me a new laptop we should make this movie <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of already did with her her yeah her yeah you ever see that mm. i saw that no it's it? like 10 years ago walking phoenix okay he like falls in love with his phone or with his computer, <laughs> with basically an AI. Yeah, okay, okay. Like very ahead super of its time. intelligent wow. AI. That's Scarlett Johansson. It's supposed to be like a, like it's not a comedy, right? No, it's like a pretty dark. serious dark movie. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How does that end? I'm trying to remember. Or we don't have. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember how it ends, but I just know there's a scene where, that's pretty memorable, where uh, the AI girlfriend secretly orders a real woman, to have sex with him. Oh, yeah, and then he's like, ah, I don't like this. Damn, so yeah. the AI girlfriend's cool. Yeah. She's well, like, she's, Let me she get pretends you to be the... Get some, get some puss yeah. in here. Yeah, she's like, yeah, why don't we make this physical? Yeah, you, you, you're like in a threesome with your AI girlfriend. You have your laptop on the, you know, on the nightstand. Your, your AI girlfriend called a, a real woman to like have sex with you, and you're like having sex with her. Then you hear the computer. It's like, why? You're not paying enough attention to me. Oh, what about me? Yeah. And then you're like, shut up, bitch. You know? And yeah. then, like, 
you like her battery's like going down but you're like not paying attention to it she's like i need to be plugged in and then she just like goes to sleep because she you know you you you're you're so negligent of her that you don't plug her in right sad yeah it's a sad thing it is yeah yeah but is that uh are we out of time yeah or? we're pretty much out of time but we did have uh we had two emails here oh, okay um we had a uh so I, I i didn't know about this um so we got an invite to a party okay from someone here hi two woke boys <clears throat> i am a billionaire from ohio i just built a 20 million dollar submarine submersible submersile to visit the Titanic wreckage. This is an invite for you two boys to join me on that trip. It won't be all business. It will be, there will be beer and bitches, maybe some Coke for the trip down. I don't want to be alone down there and I can't think of two, uh, I can think of no two better people to be down there with. Maybe you guys could do your podcast from the bottom of the ocean. Anyway, I'm going and nothing can stop me. Let me know if you wanted to join me. Remember, there will be bitches, my treat. Who is this from? Uh, Larry C. Larry C. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So apparently there's this there's this new guy. There's a new one. There's a yeah. I thought he, this was the the <clears throat> the guys that already died yeah going down there. But apparently there's this new guy going down there. Yeah, the new guy uh, was building it, and then the uh, when the Titan or whatever happened, he uh, took it back to whoever to get it like to make sure that does not happen. <laughs> What like okay, you see that happen, right? And then you're like, now I'm doing it. <laughs> Why would you do that? He's gonna come back this time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I some it just sounds like it's like the people who do just like crazy extreme mm -hmm. like stunts and stuff. The they they get was, off on the thrill of like the risk of death. Yeah, I guess, but then they die. Yeah. That sucks. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, here it is. Dayton based billionaire Larry Connor. Yeah, that's who invited us. Okay. You trying to go? Uh you know what? I'll go maybe on the second trip. Can I come? Yeah, fucking producer Alex is always welcome. Yeah, I'll go always. on the first trip. Oh, he's going on the first trip. Okay. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna let you go on that first trip. Yeah. While we and just maybe you take a computer kind of and like and... live stream us down there. Right. Yeah. Is it literally the same? Didn't that thing like implode or something? Like, I think his is black. I saw a video about it. Okay. Taking new sub Titanic wreck calls. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's. I don't know. This guy's not getting the publicity of the other one. Didn't the other one have like a documentary about it or something? <laughs> yeah. That yeah, shit was I don't crazy. Know. I don't know. Too much shit. Yeah. Well, he's a billionaire. Guess what? We hope his his submarine implodes too. Ha ha ha. Remember when that first one imploded and all those billionaires died? I'll be <laughs> on it. I'll be on it though. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if you, we, yeah, we don't. Can't, yeah, yeah, we don't want Alex no, 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 on it. We don't also, want, if yeah. uh, billionaires like our friend, that's like cool, and we love that guy. Yeah, and he, if he gives up, if we hate billionaires, but if you give us some of your money and you're no longer a billionaire, then you're awesome, dude. Right. So, right now, you're a bad person because you're a billionaire, and that's fucking really kill bullshit. the rich, eat the rich. Yeah, yeah, but if you give us some money and you're no longer in a billionaire class, then actually you're pretty tight, and we think you're cool. So, because mm -hmm. like. You gave us money, so yeah. That's not and you're inviting us to your boat that has like bitches and beer on it, so that's also yeah. kind of yeah. That sounds sweet. pretty sick. That's yeah. kind of sweet. Yeah. So um, maybe this billionaire is cool, and we can maybe convince him to not be a billionaire mm -hmm. by donating to the pod. So maybe maybe we should have a a, a talk with him on his yeah sub submersile. Yeah, that sounds great. So, yeah, we support that guy. But anyway, uh, did you have anything you want to plug? I don't think so. Uh, follow allies of the show, Malcolm Kellner and Jeff Sinisek, on their platforms. Uh, follow uh, the Two Woke Boys podcast on everything. Um, give us five-star reviews on iTunes and Spotify. Let's get those reviews up. That's that's helpful to the pod. Um, 
if you uh, write a good review on iTunes, we will read it. Um, and uh, share the show with your friends and uh, donate to the Venmo Cash App, to the Slot Fund. Uh, and also uh, send us emails, twowokeboys at gmail.com, T-O-O, wokeboys. Uh, and then that being said, uh, thanks for listening to episode 201 of the Two Woke Boys. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together we are Two Woke, woke boys. boys. Can you hear my voice this time?